getting back into shooting more seascapes. Um, so for this video, what I did was I made a trip over across to Abu Dawa where there's, there's a pier. Um, so what I specifically look for with seascapes is to try and get a long exposure shot where there's something static that I can shoot that I'll get absolutely pin sharp and then I'll get the sea or the water for instance all smoothed out and misty as well as the clouds moving in the background. So for this one I've, I've chosen to shoot an actual pier itself um, which you can see in the background over here. Um, had a bit of a challenge with this specific one though because ended up actually having a bit of bad luck so you'll be able to, to actually see what happened after I actually show you the final picture that I actually took. What I'm going to do is just show you a little bit of a trick that I actually used to find static things that you can actually take photos of that are on the sea so I, I actually generally actually just go back to Google Maps so with this specific pier I actually only discovered this by actually just actually just moving around, looking around at the actual shoreline. Um, so for this specific one, uh, I ended up going to Abu Dawa. So what you can see over here is by just searching around, I actually just found this old broken down wooden pier. Um, so that's just a bit of a quick trick that I, I use. Maybe you guys could use that just to help you out as well. Um, by the way, just if you wanted to actually go and take a look at all my photos, feel free to go across to my Facebook page because I, I regularly upload them um, generally on a weekly basis so you can actually go and see all the different photos that I take and generally share in most of these videos. So that's me just arrived in Abu Dhabi. That's it's quite, a, quite a nice little town. Uh, it's very, very pretty. Where, where I'm at it's actually a little like country park type of thing where you can walk down to the beach and there's this pretty awesome beach down that way but what I'm gonna do is walk down to find this old broken down pier so I've got to just walk up through some little countryside path bits and pieces and then I've got to make my way down down the side of a pretty steep hill so it's it's pretty hazy today and bright and just cloudy there's there's not much going on so I'm just going to take my chances with the shot regardless so Abu Dhabi is literally just on the other side of the Firth of Forth from Edinburgh so if you, you can actually look across the Forth and actually see Edinburgh so what I'm doing is I'm actually just starting to walk down this hill over here and you can see the sea behind me. Um, Firth of Force got a lot of little islands in it as well which are pretty cool. Um, I've also learnt my lesson from the last time I was here. I've decided not to wear trainers because you end up walking along pretty slippery rocks just to get down to this little broken pier. So I don't have much further to go here so just make my way down. So I've just arrived at the location, it looks like the tide's pretty high. Um, I've just made it to the actual pier as well. So I'll just give you a bit of a view as to what it looks like. It's an old broken out wooden pier. There you go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually walk down to the, the rocks down by the actual shore and get set up over there. So my intent over here is to actually get a long exposure with my, my ND filter and smooth out the waves. Um, the challenge that you've got is to actually get the, the shot set up symmetrical um, and get the, the exposure right because you end up getting the, the, the bright sunshine contrasting off the actual water. So I'll make my way down there and actually just going to get set up and then start actually taking the shot.
Okay, it's pretty windy out here, so hopefully the audio is decent, but I'll just show you my current setup over here. So I've got the tripod set up with the camera on top and I've got it set in porch orientation. Um, just so that you can see the pier in the background, it's, it's pretty much the best orientation for the camera for that shot. There's, there's no doubt about it. Um, what I've got is I've got the, the Liebig stop run and I've got a shutter speed of about 1 minute 15 seconds. So what you can see is here's what the actual picture is actually starting to look like, albeit you can't really see all that well. Um, so the sea is actually starting to get all nice and misty just because there's, there's a lot of wave action going on over here. Um, I've also got the polarizer attached to the, the front of the ND filter as well to, just to try and cut some of the glare that's coming off the water as well. I'm currently shooting at F9, um, that's the sweet spot on my lens. Um, I saw 100 so I get the best picture quality and then the, the, the shutter speed is set to about 1 minute 15 seconds. The, the photo's turning out pretty good so I've got the camera set up pretty symmetrical so I, I, I took my time to actually get the setup nailed. And so the, the actual photo is pretty balanced as well in terms of the composition. pretty windy out here so hopefully this audio isn't, isn't too bad um, that's my camera oh well that's pretty devastating but at least I managed to get a few shots so here's my handy filter Pretty gutted about that. <laughs> 